Good morning again. <clears throat> Here we are, another day, another pranayama session. Right hand touching thumb to the third and fourth finger. Left hand touching thumb to the fourth and fifth finger. Pushan mudra, the mudra of flow. That keep right on going in a smooth way, right? The hippie dictum, right? Bring peace, bring love, bring harmony wherever you go. Flow. You could say impermanence is another way of saying it. Things are in flux, right? They're changing, shifting. But somehow that word has a more negative connotation than flow. Flow feels like you're grooving with it, right? All right, so let's flow. <clears throat> Every time we practice, it's another aspect of what we call swadhyaya, or self-study. Uh, when you practice, you're reading your own life in a certain way and rewriting it, if necessary, revising it. Uh, there's a change in your outlook. You realize that all of creation is meant for adoration, finding the thing that touches your heart and devoting yourself to it. And um, if there's divinity within oneself, then that's the uh, discovery that the same energy that moves you is the, move, is the energy that moves the whole universe. It's an unbelievable idea, even though it seems so mystified. Right? Don't really understand it, but that's just how it is. Anyway, let's get right to it. Today we're adding Veloma 2 on the exhale. So find your stance, raise your chest, drop your chin, take a few restorative breaths and assess where you are, what are you bringing to the mat today. First technique will be Anuloma, open nostril, inhale, alternate nostril, exhale with Veloma 2, interrupted exhale, three times only today. You're going to see how that is. We'll do three continuous cycles and then one cycle of open nostril, inhale, narrowed nostril, alternate exhale with the Loma 2. Interrupted exhale. Let's try it. Exhale your breath. Raise your hand. Open both nostrils. Breathe in. Now, block left. Open right. Exhale. Wait. Exhale. Wait. Exhale. Wait. Open both nostrils. Inhale. Block right, open left, exhale. Wait, exhale. Wait, exhale. Wait, open both nostrils, inhale. Block left, open right, exhale. Pause, exhale. Pause, exhale. Pause. Open both nostrils. Inhale. Block right. Open left. Exhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Open both nostrils. Inhale. Block left. Open right. Exhale. Pause, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, open both nostrils, inhale, block right, open left, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, exhale, pause. Chop the hand, restore the breath. All right, now one round with the nostrils narrowed on the inhale. Restore of exhale, raise the hand, open the nostrils, inhale. Now block left, narrow right, exhale, pause, exhale, Pause. Exhale. Pause. Open both nostrils. Inhale. Block right. Narrow left. Exhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Relax the hand. Restorative breathing. 
So learning how to go at your own pace, a pace that suits you, is so important. How many times do I keep saying standing balances and pranayama is very hard to teach at somebody else's cadence. You have to learn to find what works for you. It's another reason why I was doing the open nostrils, easier t for you to see compared to the narrowed nostrils, and then doing only three on the Veloma 2 instead of four interruptions, just so you can get to control and learn from inside what's easy, what's relaxed, what's effortless, what's non-aggression, what's no force, what's no strain. And then you can build on this when you're by yourself. All right. <clears throat> Now we're moving on to Pratiloma, which is alternate nostril inhale, open nostril Veloma to exhale, three rounds, continuous, no break, and then the last round we'll do it with the alternate nostrils narrowed, but then the open nostrils on the Veloma too. All right, so get ready, steady mind. <clears throat> they say that the mind, when it's steady, gives you freedom from grief, from desire, freedom from disappointment learn how to be content with the truth of what is. All right, exhale the breath, re-energize your stance, raise your hand, block left, open right, inhale. Open both nostrils, exhale, wait, exhale, wait, exhale. Wait, block right, open left, inhale. Open both nostrils, exhale. Wait, exhale. Wait, exhale. Wait, block left, open right, inhale. Open both, exhale, wait, exhale, wait, exhale, wait, block right, open left, inhale. Open both, exhale, wait, exhale, wait. Exhale, wait, block left, open right, inhale. Open both, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, block right, open left, inhale. Open both, exhale, stop, exhale, stop, exhale, stop, drop your hand, restore to breath. All right, now one round with the narrowed nostril on the inhale, open nostril, Veloma 2 on the exhale. Restore to breath, raise your hand. Block left, narrow right nostril, inhale. Open both nostrils, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold. Block right, open left, narrow left, inhale. Open both nostrils, exhale, wait, exhale, wait, exhale, wait, drop the hand, restore your breathing. So they say that the first stage is awakening and the second stage is moving the prana into the central canal. They call it the shashumna. That's these, where you start to hold the breath, 
it moves there. That's called the Gattavashta, the pot. So I hope you see how all these pauses help you, lead you to our Antar Kumbak and Bio Kumbak when we're actually holding the breath for more than just a moment or two, and then how that adds to the Mubanda and Uddiyana Banda that we always do toward the end of the week. So hopefully you understand the progression of how you can use these in a scaled-down way and then build up your time uh, as your interest involves. So, third second. Now we're back to Nadi Shodhana. Inhale, right, exhale, left. Inhale, left, exhale, right. First three rounds will be continuous with open nostrils, but Voloma 2 on the exhale. And then one round we'll do it with the narrowed nostrils on the inhale. Open nostril, Voloma 2 on the exhale. Narrowed nostrils on the inhale. Open both nostrils on the opposite side for Voloma 2. All right, let's give it a shot. Exhale your breath. Feel where the back of your kidneys are. Don't let your kidneys sink. You not only move your back ribs into the front ribs without poking the front ribs forward, but find the top of your kidney and keep that lifted up. All right, exhale your breath. Raise your hand. Block left, open right, inhale. Block right, open left, Voloma to exhale. Let go. Wait, let go. Wait, let go. Wait, open left nostril, inhale. Block left, open right, exhale. Pause, exhale. Pause, exhale, pause. Open right nostril, inhale. Block right, open left, Voloma to exhale. Let go. Wait there. Let go. Wait there. Exhale. Wait there. Open left nostril, inhale. Block left, open right, exhale. Stop. Exhale. Hold. Exhale. Wait. Third cycle, third round. Open right nostril, inhale. Block right, open left, exhale. Wait. Exhale. Wait. Exhale. Wait. Open left nostril, inhale. Block left, open right, exhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Exhale, pause, relax the hand, restore the breathing. Now bringing it down this way is a reminder if any cycle becomes disturbed, complete that cycle and take restorative breaths. And then can you analyze the reason for the mistake or what you did that made the breath unsmooth? That's how action and reflection go together. All right, final cycle with the narrowed nostrils. Exhale your breath. Raise the hand, block left, narrow right nostril, inhale. Now open the left nostril, exhale, wait there, exhale, wait there, exhale, wait there, narrow the left nostril, inhale. Lock the left, open the right, exhale, stop, exhale, stop, exhale, stop, open right nostril, inhale, drop the hand, restorative breath, exhale. Before you raise your head, tune into 
the life force, the energy, the prana, the movement, the shakti, the vital energy, call it whatever you want, filling all corners of your lungs, and how by keeping your chest so lifted during the breathing process that you aerate every part, especially the top lungs, which are narrower, and then slowly with your eyes closed, raise your head up, open your eyes. So, as Swami Biyandananda often says, I hope that I've answered your questions, and I hope that you'll question my answers and find your own. Have a great day.